Good afternoon, family. Good afternoon. Today is Sunday, June 9th, 2024. I am back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for being patient with me last night with the live. I don't know what happened with my computer, but I ended up just having to shut the whole system down, you know, reboot it, restart it, it came back up. It was some system update or something on the computer. And once I did that, everything worked fine. I didn't do nothing special. Just cut it off and cut it back on. So I hate that it happened like that, but everything still turned out. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. And I'm glad that everybody that showed up, showed up. And I appreciate all my guests and thank y'all for everything. Now, People were asking how can they call in, what have you, and uh, that want to get on. You don't have to call. There's a link, which I'll explain it next time on my next live. There's a link. I'm thinking about going live again Wednesday night. And uh, somebody suggested twice, so Wednesday and Saturday. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about it. Uh, let me know what y'all think about Wednesday night and Saturday night for a live. But there's a link that will be in the comment section by my name or what have you. It's called StreamYard. You click on that link, and that's how you join in. You don't have to call on your phone or a phone number, nothing like that. So, but we'll we'll work on that. I, you know, I'm learning also. So uh, let's keep this journey going. Now, on this episode here. Y'all know, first of all, let me go and get this out the way. This is one of those topics or videos where I'm going to be accused of pandering to the women. Just one of them pandering to the women videos that the guys who I hit, you know, they say hit dog holler. The guys that get hit with this arrow that I'm finna shoot, they're going to say I'm pandering to women. The guys that I'm not talking about, they're going to understand where I'm coming from. But the guys that this video applies to, they're going to say I'm pandering to the women. But in reality, I'm here trying to school y'all. Wake you up. Put you up on game. Help you. I'm not trying to put you down. I ain't calling nobody by name. They're just overall in general what I've noticed when it comes to some men. Now, we, we've all heard about how modern women are delusional. They have unreal, unrealistic expectations for men. They have unrealistic views of themselves. They overvalue themselves. There can be women that are broke, single moms, three baby daddies, four baby daddies, what have you, five kids, and they demand a six-figure man, a high-value man, even though they are low-value. But in their mind, they're high-value. They don't think that they are low-value. Hence, delusional. They overvalued themselves. They think they qualify for something and someone they don't qualify. They're going in, applying for a job at the hospital as a doctor, and they don't even have a GED. But they think they qualify to be a surgeon. Just because USA Medical Center got a position open for a brain surgeon, you got somebody going in there with a GED applying for the job. That's how delusional modern women are. And we all know it as men. We, you know, that you, you can all over YouTube, wherever you look, the modern woman is delusional. The modern woman this, the modern woman, the modern woman, the modern woman, as if she's the only problem. But y'all know Big Ward. 
I'm going to call it how I see it. The modern woman ain't the only problem. The modern woman ain't the only one that's delusional. The modern man, some of y'all, are delusional as well. I've been seeing it. I haven't said anything. I've just been observing. I've just been watching. I've been listening. I've been paying attention. I'm like, is he for real? Do he not see himself? Did he not hear himself? You got guys that's talking about women. Let me explain this. Fellas, we all know when it comes to a woman, every woman don't qualify for every man. There are some women where there are some men that are out of that woman's league. Some men are out of that woman's lead. You know, the woman with six baby daddies and ten kids. She is not in the league for Denzel or Idris Elba or what have you. Those men are out of her league unless they choose to want her, which I doubt. But her thinking she qualifies for one of the men is the part that blows me. Now, there are some men with the same mindset. There are some men around here talking about, it's all over YouTube. I'm not talking about no one particular person or whatever. It's everywhere. Vivica Fox, 60 years old, now she want a husband. And it's being discussed and talked about by men that don't have a shot with Vivica Fox. Even at 60, you still ain't on her level. Why are you discussing Biblical Fox? Ebony K. Williams. She decided to have a baby out of whatever you call it, artificial means, what have you. For some reason, no matter how high she is, she couldn't get a man to get her pregnant. She had to go pay for it. But the thing about that is, for me, where I am, I'm not talking about Ebony K. Williams because that lady ain't thinking about me. It ain't like I could have got her. Why do I care about what she's doing? I would be delusional to think that Ebony K. Williams should want to be with me. Not saying that I ain't good enough for her. I'm not around nobody like that. How is she supposed, when she said she wouldn't date a bus driver, she, she looked really bad saying that. Even I didn't like her because of that. But in reality, why would a woman on that level date a bus driver and get used for her money? Same way we tell men who on that level what he looking like dating some lady at Popeye, not knocking the women at Popeye. You date your level. The problem with women is when you reach a certain higher level, you don't have many options up there. So you might have to date the bus driver because there are not many men on your level as a woman when you reach those higher peaks. So that's the only thing I would say about a woman thinking that she shouldn't be able, shouldn't, you know, can't date a man who ain't making the kind of money she made. All I'm saying, baby, you ain't got many options then. See, a man don't care about that when he got plenty of money. He'll date down. Women don't want to date down. So if you don't want to date down and you were making out with as a woman, your options are very slim. So you end up like Evan and K. Williams have to go buy a baby. But even with that being said, I don't care. Who Vivica Fox decided to marry or wanted to marry at 60 years old, I don't care. Because at this point in my life, I never meet Vivica Fox. She got a right 
to feel how she want to feel, even though she's delusional. Men are delusional too. Now let me explain why. There are men out here, if you watched the live last night, it was a, uh, a guy at the end was talking about his nephew, was 38 years old, lived at home with his parents, and he always dating single moms. How, what should he do to get him to do better and not date single moms? He's 38 years old, live at home with his parents. And by that being his nephew, you know, he, he look at him at a higher, you know, that's my nephew, family, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to look at him in high regard because he's your family. The delusion come in as, that's what made me say men are delusional too. Because he thinking that his nephew should do better than dating single moms. That's all he go for is single mom. And he should do better. What in reality is, I'm not delusional. So I'm looking at his nephew like, no. Your nephew is a loser. The single mom needs to do better than your nephew. Not the other way around. That man was delusional. The nephew, not the, not the older guy. I, hey, I appreciate your support. I'm, not, I'm just making an example of how men can be delusional, not thinking clearly, not thinking, because he said himself, I didn't even think about it like that. He said himself, he admitted, I didn't think about it like that, the fact that his nephew is not a catch. He don't deserve no better than a single mom. Who is, he living at home with his parents at almost 40 years old. He is not a catch. He is not qualified for the upper Echelon women, the high value women. He dating who he should be dating, single mom with three baby daddies. That's all he and, and really he don't even qualify for them. Cause they got kids, they're gonna need help. And he he living at home with his mom. He probably have to go stay with them sometime. He spending the night at the single mom house. She she got a crib. He don't. But in this man's mind, he was trying to figure out how his nephew can get better women. Because he deserved better women. He deserved better than a single mom. No, he don't. That's delusional. He don't even deserve a single mom because he's living at home with his parents. He don't need to be talking to no women. He should be getting up out of his folks' house. He around here trying to date. And his uncle thinking that he should date a better quality of woman than a single mom. As if he's a high quality man, a high value man. Well, he's, he's not. If he thinks he's more than that, he's delusional. Hence the video topic, some men are delusional too. You got men around here that are broke, trying to date. You got men around here that are 400 pounds trying to date. You got men around here that don't even know how to communicate with a woman. Don't know how to communicate with anybody trying to date. You got men around here that don't know how, that they're, they're not, they're what we call, don't have no game. Whoever fault that is, that's neither here nor there. The fact is, they don't have no game. Game as in interesting to a woman. You're not even interesting to a woman that you're trying to date. And then, when those women don't want you, you blame the women. Therefore, I say you're delusional as a man. You 400 pounds, and a woman don't want you, you start hollering about how out of order and out of line the modern woman is. But you 400 pounds. You broke trying to date and the woman don't want you. And you want to start hollering about how out of order the modern woman is. Instead of going to get you some money. They out of order. The modern woman this, the modern woman that. 
No, you're delusional. As a, you're a delusional man. If you think a woman is supposed to want you and you're 400 pounds. If you think a woman is supposed to want you and you're broke. Yes, there are some delusional women out here. Yes, there are some women out here out of order. But it ain't all the women that y'all be meeting. A woman ain't obligated to holler at any man that wants Just like a lot of y'all wouldn't understand, there are some women I turned down. I'm not obligated to holler at every woman that wants me. A lot of y'all haven't experienced that as a man to turn some women down. I understand where a woman come from when there are certain men she don't want. I'm not going to say the modern woman is out of order because she don't want every lame that try to holler at her. I know a lot of guys are lame because I don't even deal with them, let alone a woman want to deal with them. There are some guys I can't deal with. There are some men I don't rock with. Simps, lame, busters, haters. You see them in the comment section. I don't rock with them dudes. I know damn well a woman don't want to be bothered with them. I can't even fuck with them. Some straight up mama's boys, clowns, haters, insecure, jealous, bitch made men. If the shoe don't fit, don't hurt your toes trying to put it on. Hit dog gonna holler, so you'll hear the one come big war penning to the you'll see them. They come and big war penning to the women. But the real ones know. A lot of guys get put in the friend zone by women. And they blame that woman for putting you in the friend zone. Like she's supposed to just want you. A woman's supposed to just want every man that wants her. If she don't want you, she's an out of order, delusional modern woman. When in all actuality it could be, you just a lame. You just not as great as you think you are. I'm going to tell you why. I hear guys talk about they got put in the friend zone. Went on a couple of dates, uh, talked a few times on the phone or whatever, and the woman, in, they ended up in the friend zone. And they want to blame that woman for that. Like she wrong for not seeing you for more than just a friend. This is no brag, no flex. Now, I have not gotten every woman that I ever tried to talk to. I have been turned down for various reasons. They married, in a relationship, gay, uh, not looking for nobody right now. They just came out of a relationship and they just want some time to themselves. I have not gotten every woman that I've ever tried to talk to. I've been turned down to. But one thing I've never been is friend zone by a woman that I've talked to I went on a couple of dates with. Every woman that gave me a chance, that gave me the number, and we talked and went out on a date, whatever, they always wanted me. I've never been friend zoned by a woman that gave me the first step. I haven't got every number that I went after. I'm, I haven't went on a date with every woman I've tried to go out with. That's not what I'm talking about. That ain't friend zoning. That's a woman that just not, in, you're not her type for whatever reason. That's fine. I never, 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 even when I was young, had a phone conversation with a woman one time or went on a date one time and that woman didn't want to talk to me again. She didn't want to go out with me again. It's never happened to me. If, ha if you got friend zoned by a woman you went out on a date with, if you got friend zoned by a woman you had a few co phone conversations with, that don't mean she a bad woman. Sometimes you might need to look in the mirror. Are you delusional? Are you overvaluing yourself as a man? Are you 400 pounds? Are you broke? Did she have to come pick you up for the date? Are you on the phone talking about video games? Are talking about yourself all night long. Where you work at. How much money you make. The new Jordans. Lil Boosie. You know. Lame shit. To where. She don't call you no more. 
or she don't want to go out with you no more. Even though you you paying all the food, she still don't want to go out. Y'all be claiming women going out for dude with dudes to get a free meal, but why she friends on you then and don't want to go out on a date with you no more if she want a free meal? Sometimes it's us, fellas. It ain't always the modern woman that's out of order. Sometimes modern men are delusional. Some, some of us think we are more qualified than what we really are. Some of us think a woman's supposed to want me even though I'm 400 pounds and I wheeze. <laughs> you still think a woman's supposed to want you. You still think a woman should want to be with you. You have no ambition, no determination, no drive, no money. She's supposed to love you for you. But I keep telling y'all over and over again, there's no such thing as unconditional love for a man. No woman loves a man just for him. Except reality, fool. That's nature. It ain't the woman, it's life, it's nature. If you ain't got nothing going for yourself as a man, the majority of women, I don't care how good they are, ain't gonna want you by nature. And if you ain't got nothing going for yourself, I have said this a thousand times, you shouldn't want a woman anyway. You delusional. Why are you out here trying to date and you broke, fat, don't know how to talk to a woman, insecure, still hurting over your ex. But I know what I'm, big war painting to the women again. Say what you want, whatever you want to say. You ain't got to listen to me. You ain't got to listen. You ain't got to lose weight. You ain't got to get you some money. You ain't got to learn how to talk to a woman. You ain't got to learn none of that. Just keep getting friends on and blame it on the modern women. Stay delusional, my friend. Get it, got it, good, bye.